Hello and welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. So today, after a long time, uh, I am starting with the code safe solutions also. So I am doing from last some week. I am doing regular code forces solution and now I am starting with the code safe solution also. Uh, so today we are going to discuss about the starters one twenty two, the problem which is array and grid. This is actually a really interesting problem. The problem says that basically that there is a grid of size n into m and array is present at x into y index okay now r can move l indexes either up down left or right by doing this so r can move exactly l that the first thing now you have to tell that by moving these by taking these uh, steps how many distinct grid r can visit okay that is what you have to find so let's see how we can solve this particular problem so let's first take a grid okay see for example this is the grid So I'm taking some random number of rows and column. Let me make the divisions. Let's see how many rows and column can be made. So these are some columns in the grid and uh, let's have the rows. I will try to not have number of columns and rows as equal. So yeah, I think it's, it's uh, absolutely fine. Yeah. So if you will see here, uh, we have uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So these are <clears throat> the uh, rows, and these these are the rows, and these. Are, so there are basically n is six and m is seven. So there are six rows and seven columns, right? For example, that R is currently present at this index, or let let's take this one. It's present at this index. Now, if it is present at this particular index, now you have to find that how much is how many steps it can take. Okay, see one thing, a very important thing. Let's say that L is two here. So means from here you can either go two times up, two times left, two times down, two times right. Then from here again you can go all these positions. So by doing this, how many steps he can reach? How many distinct cells he can reach? That is what they are asking. These are the number of distinct cells R I can basically reach. Okay, so I, I am I did actually one wrong thing. I I took a uh, edge actually. Uh, so what I can do, I can present it like this. Assume it like this. Okay, I was doing the corners of the edge. Okay, here here let's see area. So this red point presents area. Area is present here. Now where are area can go? Area can go here. Can go here. Can now go here also. Can go here. Can go here. Can go here. So basically, he can take jump of size two. So he can go at all these places. He cannot go up because there he cannot take two jumps. There is only one cell at the above. So basically, he can reach how many cells? One. So I will mark here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, and 12. Right. So answer is 12 in this case. Now let's find how we can find this. How we can find it. So guys, first of all, I will find ki horizontally or vertically both. How many cells uh, are there can reach? See. Let's first find horizontally. So if we see in, the, in this scale, how many cells are there can reach? So he can. So let's first find that in the. Let's find that in the right of area. In the right of area, first let's find how many cells are there. So current position of area is two comma three. Basically, x is two and y is three. So using these coordinates, we can find that how many cells are present on the right and on the left. So we can see that on the right of area there are four cells. And how we can find this four? We can simply subtract what m minus y. So seven minus three. Will give me the number of cells on the right of area. It is clear. Plus, these are the number of cells on the right of area. Plus, let's find how many number of cells are there in the, in the left of area here. So for this, the simple formula is you can simply add y minus one. So if y is three, you can see there are two cells in the left. Okay. So now these are the number of cells on the right of area. These are number of cells on the left of area. Where this is number of cells. Now. These are number of cells, but we have to find number of cells he can visit. He or say, I'm not sure. Uh, who, uh, so he can visit. Let's take it as a male. 
तो हाउ मेन नंबर ऑफ सेल्स ही कैन विजिट राइट तो फॉर दैट बिकॉज ही कैन टेक जंप ऑफ एल स्टेप वी विल डिवाइड दिस बाय एल विल से एम माइनस वाई बाय एल एम माइनस वाई बाय एल सिंपल तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर आर फोर सेल्स ऑन द राइट बट ही कैन ओनली जम्प टू सेल्स विच टू फर्स्ट वन एंड सेकेंड तो फोर बाय टू मीन्स टू सेल ओनली वी विल मेक डिविजन ऑफ टू राइट एंड सिमिलरली वेयर देर इज टू सेल वाई एल इज ऑल्सो टू लेट्स टेक एल एस टू तो हेयर वी कैन टेक ओनली वन वन सेल जम्प लेट्स से लेट्स से दैट इफ योर एल इज थ्री इफ योर एल इज थ्री देन हेयर ही कैन ओनली टेक वन थ्री बाय फोर बाय थ्री इज जस्ट वन हेयर ही कैन ओनली टेक दिस वन एंड ऑन लेफ्ट ही कैन नॉट टेक एनी जम्प so from using this formula what we can do we can first find number of cells on the right divided by l number of cells on the left divided by l and plus 1 so this plus 1 cell is basically the cell where he is currently present so these are the total number of cells where he can visit horizontally now let's find the same thing vertically so vertically how he can reach so he can reach here he can reach here on the top he cannot reach how we can find So first, let's find how many cells are present on the below below area. So to find simple, here I will say n minus x. N is six, x is two. There are four cells here also. And then divide by l. Plus how many cells on the top? Simple, just like y minus one. Here it will be x minus one. Right. And then add one to the final answer. One for this. So now see guys, very important. Now we got to know that. Now we got to know that p. Uh, let me present it here. Now we got to know that horizontally, horizontally, R A can visit how many, uh, how many uh, points or cells using this formula? It will be four. You can use this formula. So it will be m minus y. So m minus y will be four by two plus two by two plus one. It will be four. And vertically he can reach four by two plus one by two plus one, so it will be three only. So means he can visit these are the four cells which he can visit vertically, and if we talk uh, sorry horizontally, and if we will talk about vertically, so these are the steps that he can visit vertically, and every intersection of these step you can see. This one, this one, this one. So basically, to find total number of steps, what we will do, we will simply multiply number of steps vertically, uh, means number of cells possible vertically, multiplied by number of cells possible horizontally. So here, the answer was here. It was four. Uh, four here, it was three. So overall answer will be twelve. You can count. There are twelve cells where you can visit. That is what I did. So first, I sorry, not sure if I can zoom this. Yeah, I can not zoom this. So what I did is, you can see here, I first taken n minus x by l, this one plus x minus one by l plus one, and same for horizontal also m minus y by l plus y minus one by l plus one, and then. I have multiplied both a and b and have printed down. Okay, so guys, I hope that you have got the complete understanding of this particular problem. If you still have any doubt, you can join my Telegram channel and you can ask your doubts there, or you can also comment down in case of any doubt. I will share the link of the problem and this code both in the description section. You can check that also, and you can also follow me on Instagram for daily videos related coding, technology, and resources. And also, I post regular opportunities on my Telegram and on my Instagram. So do follow me there. Thank you for watching this particular video. Thanks a lot. Thank you.